So you're looking for an alternative to Roundup to kill grass and weeds in your cracks in your driveway and your sidewalk. Well, I have a solution for you. So let's get started. So a lot of you know that you have been following my channel. I did a full renovation to my lawn in the fall of 2020 and I actually used vinegar to kill off my grass. Um, I wanted an alternative to Roundup because the glyphosate, a lot of us know, it's not the most uh, safe chemical in the world. So I wanted something a little bit safer, vinegar. Um, it can be found uh, pretty much anywhere. Um, it's found in a lot of cleaning products. Um, so that's what I wound up doing, was going with vinegar to kill off my lawn. So what I wound up doing was going to Home Depot and Lowe's. Um, they sell a 30% concentrated vinegar. You can find these in the cleaning section of those stores. Um, this bottle is left, it's uh, 20 bucks, so it will last you a pretty long time. Um, it's very inexpensive, I feel like, as well. Um, and it's a lot more, uh, more organic than the glyphosate that's in Roundup. Um, so basically, it's a little bit of a blue tint as well. Um, I did add a little bit of Epsom salt. The Epsom salt helps uh, the concentrate stick to your grass and the weeds a little bit better. Um, so just if you want to put that in there, you can. You don't have to. Um, like I said, 20 bucks for the bottle. Um, a really another great tool here is a Craftsman battery powered uh, sprayer. Um, what's really cool about this is it's less than 10 bucks. Um, it works with a AA battery, has a lock and unlock here. Um, basically, you're just gonna unscrew your cap here of your gallon jug of the vinegar, and then it has a long hose here. You just insert that, screw it on, and then you basically you just hit the trigger once you unlock it, and it just sprays out. Um, and then you can adjust the flow here if you want it more of a, a fan or not as much of a stream, if you want it more of a spray. Um, you can just turn this dial here and make it less of a spray and, and in a stream if you want. So what I'm gonna do next is um, I have a couple of patches here of grass. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it. Um, we're gonna come back in a few hours. I'm gonna show you the power of vinegar and what it will do uh, to this grass. As you can see here, this is a few hours later. It's about 12 o'clock. I sprayed about nine in the morning. Um, the sun, it helps. Once you spray the vinegar, really dry up the weeds. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is just take my weed whacker and I'm just gonna skim across it and I'll be good to go. Um, if for some reason it does grow back, I will take back out my vinegar mi mixture and just spray it down again. Um, and again, it's always helpful to do it on a sunny day. So you can see along here, um, this is where I sprayed earlier in the video as well. Um, as you can see, it dried up pretty well as, as well as the other side on the driveway. Um, this is the curb line. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to take my Wee Whacker and go along and trim it off. And then if it grows back again, I will spray more. So as you can see, vinegar is a great solution to Roundup. Um, as you know, I did kill off my lawn in the fall time. And as you can see from pictures from today, uh, my lawn looks really well. Um, obviously in my front area, you'll see, um, I, I did dig up some of my sprinkler, so I'm working on um, growing that area back. But I couldn't be happier um, with this GCI turf uh, tall fescue that I put down in the fall time. It really came in well this spring. Um, I've been doing a, a really good fertilizer program so far with liquids and also uh, granular um, and everything's been coming in really well uh, this year and I've been very happy so far. So that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you today. Uh, just one quick note, if you do spray the vinegar, please be careful of your grass. It will definitely kill your grass. So please, if you're doing it on a windy day, 
please be careful. I try not to do it on a windy day, just so nothing of an overspray gets onto my grass. So please be careful. And also, if you have any questions or comments on the solution or on the content today, uh, please comment below and I will get back to you. If you found this content helpful today, make sure you smash that like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm so other people can find my channel, can find my content, this video. It uh, really helps out. And also, if you're new, uh, this is your first time watching a video, please consider subscribing to my channel as well. Um, it's an all organic lawn channel. I have no herbicides in my grass. Um, that's what I strive for, putting no chemicals in my lawn. So I'll see you in the next one.